Hi everyone, welcome to uh, today's video. So today I'm going to show you how to create a bell curve in MS Excel. So take note that I'm more of an Excel person. I'm not really a statistician myself. So what I'm going to demonstrate to you is how to create bell curve, but how to explain it. That's something that is not my uh, forte. So, but here, for example, I have some numbers, some uh, names, and then the scores. Let's say these are some students or some employees, and these are their performance scores. And you want to find out the distribution of these numbers by means of using a bell curve. So the first step when you have to create a bell curve is you have to find two things. First, you have to find the average of the numbers. So I'm going to use the average function and then get all the numbers. So I have here average of column B, which is 65. And then I also want to find the standard uh, deviation of these numbers. So this standard deviation okay, tells us how far they are in general okay, to the average of the numbers. So we're going to use the function standard deviation stdev.p, meaning I already have the entire population of my numbers okay compared to standard deviation s which is more of just a sample of the entire population so i have here the entire population and then i'll click column b and then close so that would give me two numbers the average and the standard deviation and then the next one is we have to sort the numbers that we have from lowest to highest. So to do that, we would need to right click on any cell under the score and then use sort. Then sort, let's say smallest to largest. And that would put the numbers okay, in the um, ascending order. So the next thing that we are going to show is how to calculate the normal distribution of the, uh, the numbers under column B. So for that, we're going to use the norm, okay, normal distribution, norm dot, uh, dist function. And then we get the cell, okay, the X value, which is the score, comma. And the next one would be the mean. Okay, so the mean is another term for average, which we already derived previously in this cell. So we're going to get that. And we're going to make it absolute. We're going to lock G1 so that when we double click later, it will stay at that cell, okay, even if we double click it to the rest of the data. And then as you could see in the tooltip, the next one is the standard deviation number, which is this one, H1. So I'm, go I'm also going to make it absolute. And then comma, the next one is if uh, you're going to put true or false, and most of the time we have to use the probability mass function, which is false. So we close it, uh, we select false, I mean, and then we close the function. And now we have the normal distribution number for this score. We will then have to cascade that number all throughout okay, our data. So we simply need to double click or drag the fill handle so that all the values, all the rows will have their number. And the next one that we're going to do is we're now going to create a bell curve out of this. So since our data is already highlighted, let me do that again just to be sure, from C2 downwards. We will then insert and then go to the scatter chart group of charts and then you will see that there's this scatter with smooth lines option so we can click that and as you could see we now have our bell curve it's not like the typical bell curve that you would see online this one is a little ragged because our data is actually raw Okay, and it's more of the actual curve okay, that we have for the numbers.
So from here, we can then sort of like change some settings, like we can remove the grid lines, okay, or maybe just the uh, vertical grid lines and then get rid of the horizontal grid lines, like a typical bell curve. And then that's it. So we just learned how to easily create a bell curve, okay, out of uh, real data. Now, it's the same procedure, okay, if you're wondering, like, why is it not smooth? Well, that's because our data is random and realistic, okay? So if we have more of a, a more uniform number, so let's say I have, I'll create some numbers now. So 20 to 21, I'll drag the rest so that I have a normally distributed uh, range of numbers. I will do the same thing. First, I will average this. And then I'll also get the standard deviation. So this, this uh, part of the video serves like a recap. And just want to show you that if your numbers are evenly distributed or there's a, 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 an equal interval within the numbers, you will get the desirable looking bell curve. So we have here um, the standard deviation of the population, column A. And then we will use the normal distribution function. So norm dot dist. And then we're going to select the x value, which is our first one. We don't have to sort um, ascending because it's already in ascending order. So A1 and then comma. And then we get the mean, which is coming from cell F1. And then we'll make it absolute by putting dollar signs. Okay, so I, I highlighted the cell or I clicked the cell and then pressed F4 on my keyboard. And then the next one is the standard deviation. So I'll click that cell and make it absolute, okay, or locked. So I pressed F4 in my keyboard to put those dollar signs. Then comma, again, we're going to use the false, okay, the probability mass function, then close. And with that, we have this number, okay, for the first row. We will then cascade this to all of the cells. So we will simply double click the fill handle. And now all our numbers, they okay, have their own normal uh, distribution number. We will now then, okay, create the bell curve. So we will simply highlight from the first cell going down. If you're wondering what I pressed, that was the control shift down uh, keyboard shortcut. So you have to select the first value and then from there, control shift down altogether and then you go to insert we then go to the scatter chart group of charts in excel under the insert tab choose the scatter with smooth lines and you will see that we have a smoother bell curve okay thanks to the much more evenly and normally distributed, okay, graduated numbers that we have compared to a more realistic set of numbers. Either way, we produce a curve. Okay, so we see how these random numbers are actually uh, distributed and how it peaked. Okay, and that's it. So I hope you learned something new in this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. If you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe in the channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section. And I'll try my best to answer your question as soon as I can. Thank you, everyone, and have a nice day.